a thousand one ways to market your books. This is the problem. There are a thousand one ways to market your books. My solution is seven pragmatic things. Number one, put on small scale seminars or Q and A's, do them on Zoom, build up a community, be relentlessly helpful. They're not sales sessions. They can be centered around different topics in your book. You can have guests on to talk and then you do it. This is a great thing to do. Number two, you gotta get speaking. You gotta get in front of people. You can do that through podcasts or by speaking where people will book you to be on their stage. Um, there's different variations of that. I wrote the book, co-wrote it, 24 Ways to Get Paid to Speak. So there are 24 ways that you can go out there and get people to pay you. That's half of it because there are some audiences, unless you qualify to be a paid expert, an author, who's worth five to $10,000, you're never gonna get in front of those prospects. The third thing you need to do is chop up the book and get it published. Get other people to put it in their blogs or their articles or put out a tips news release nationally and get news websites to pick it up. Or I do a, a weekly LinkedIn newsletter. I chop up the book and my other writing and it's the agency Rainmaker newsletter. And I do that every Wednesday. Um, I have other people, I amplify their work and they amplify mine. I've gone to 2,100 subscribers in a little over a year where people wanna know what I have to say every week. Fifth thing in the Magnificent Seven is find a target rich environment, a group, and volunteer and get involved. Uh, so for me, it's uh, predictive ROI and AMI, Agency Management Institute. So I get involved with those groups. I try to be helpful with the groups. Number six is you attend events put on by target rich environments and you network and you meet there. Number seven is to have content so valuable people would pay you money to get it. And that's usually because you've done research on how they compare to their peers. So I would want to know what you know, Craig, about how other agency owners save money on taxes and improve their financial standing. Now, you're not going to tell me what this agency did or that agency did, but you can aggregate the information and you can also tell me how I compare to others. So if you're doing those seven things, Consistently, it's not about meeting strangers on the internet. This is what you do to build relationships. And relationships are really the key.